so excited to do this. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing a, not really, I guess a tutorial, but I'm actually going to be doing my own brow lamination at home. And if you guys know, I feel like my voice sounds really different today, <laughs> but if you guys know, I've actually had brow lamination twice and it's such an addictive thing to have. Just like LVL Lash Lift, it's just like that on your brows where your brows basically, it keeps your brows fluffy and hairy and just beautiful, which I love. Like I've had this love now for about over a year, like I'm just obsessed with, I am just a huge lover of the big fluffy brows. So I've actually not filled in my brows purposely for this video. Now I was actually going to do it using an Amazon Lash Lift Kit and i'm really glad i didn't i actually got sent it from the lovely team at be bear and model brows now model brows actually have done my brows twice i just love them they do my brows so good and since obviously quarantine and stuff we can't get our brows laminated they ended up bringing out a kit for people at home to do so anyone can do it for any brows and stuff like that so it's I'm really, honestly, I'm so excited. I've got everything at the side of me, including the products. But what I'll do is I will show you everything that I've got in the box right now. All right, so this is everything we have here. We've actually got some little, like, um, spoolies and cleaning applicator things. So we actually have the brow glue. Now, this sets your brows into place just before you actually move on to the lamination. And then we have these three little mini guys, which are so adorable. So we have the step one super lift, we have brow lamination, which is neutralize, and then we have number three, which is hydrate. So we have all the things we need. And then we, of course, have this guy, which is brows on film. And you literally get like cling film in a box, which I think is genius. Like I've never seen any brand do this. Normally you obviously have to just use cling film, but no. This brand is coming through with even cling film. So in this little cute box, we have the cling film, which comes through this little this little letter box. It's so cute. And then we have this over here as well, which I think cuts it. Does it cut it? I'm presuming so. I don't know. So we have everything I need. I've got each of the steps. I've got my cling film. I've got my applicators. I'm, of course, not forgetting the cleanser. This is the brow cleanser that you can use just before you do your brow lamination as well. So you cleanse your brows, then obviously move on to these steps. And I've got everything here. I love this. This is so cool. So I'm going to actually get ready. And yeah, let's, let's get brow lamination on. I'm so freaking excited for this. All right, so now I've shown you everything that I've got. I've actually got it set up here. I've got, basically, I've come prepared. I've got cotton pads, cotton buds. I've got, I've got brow dye because obviously it does strip your brow colour. So I don't know whether to tint my brow off, obviously after I perm them. I'm not sure, you know, but yeah, I've got the tint as well. I just use the Miley Eyebrow and Lash Tint in black. So I've got the, the, little duo here just in case I did want to tint them. I've actually just got everything I need for the lamination. So I'm literally just going to go straight into it. Now, it says to clean your... Wait. Literally so long. Right, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so I've actually got the instructions here and it says remove any makeup and cream from the brows using the brow cleanser. Now this is... Enrich with lemongrass and witch hazel. Um, it's a brow foam. How cool is this? So this reminds me of when you get your lashes done. And you can so when you get lash extensions, you can use foam cleanser. So I'm actually gonna pop. This is removed with a cotton pad. So I'm gonna grab two cotton pads. <gasps> okay, this really does remind me of the lash cleanser when you get your lashes done oh no it's taking all my foundation off should have done that i've got nothing on my brows at the minute so they are pretty clean because i did clean them right before this but i'm just removing like any foundation or whatever that's on my brow i'm gonna move you because that's better so my brows are pretty much prepped and primed and cleansed there is literally nothing on my brows just obviously foundation around my brows but i've cleaned the whole brow area and it doesn't look too crazy which is good it says apply the glue oh okay so it says apply the glue to the brows and brush your brows upwards or in the direction you would like your brows to set using a spoolie brush 
So I've got my little spoolie and I've got the brow glue. It looks like this. It's really like, um, it reminds me of a little, fine little brush. So I think we're just going to apply this. I don't know how much you need of this, but... Proper good glue. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press it down. So when I normally do my brows with, um, I use hair gel, <laughs> but I'm actually just going to do them the exact same way as I would normally. So I'm going to do it in stages. So I'm doing the front part, now I'm going to do the middle part. Brush upwards, because that's how I like my brows. I think I've done it. <laughs> I've got a bottle patch, which I don't know why, but. So that's one brow done. I find the ends of my brows really hard to stick down, like they are pretty hard to do, but I've literally just like pressed it down, kind of flatten your eyebrows. It does work a lot better than using a spoolie, like you don't have as much control over it. So if I could recommend anything, definitely use, when you use the glue, please just use your like fingers or hand or whatever, but I just find it works so much better than a spoolie. I think that works. All right, step three, once you are set in place, apply step one using a micro applicator and show the product is applied from roots to tip. My eyebrows probably feel like hairspray. So these are the little micro applicators. I'm gonna get step one, which is already there. How cute are these? Like, these are adorable, <laughs> they're just so cute. So I've got the brow lamination step one, super lift, and it just says to apply from the roots to the tip, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm currently trying to pump it, and obviously not nothing comes out at first, so all that's pumping out is the smell, <laughs> and it reeks. I just hate the smell of perm lotion. <laughs> oh God, it reeks. Oh God, so I've got a tiny bit on. I just hate the smell of it. From root to tip. Okay, so I've done one brow, I'm just gonna quickly do my other it's not even that bad to do like i think this brush is really good as well and if you don't necessarily have these spoolies you can also use a cotton bud as well that also works just as good um but i do think these are really cute and also they're just they're just really good to use as well because they don't have the fibers on it Now it's time for the cutest part. I'm so excited just to put cling film on my brows, but I've actually got the brows on film. Now this is the cling film you get in the kit. How genius is this idea? I've never seen anyone do this. It's basically cling film in a box and you pull it and then you can slice like however much you want off. So I need it to be as long as my head. Oh, oh my God, this is so cool. I'm gonna pop this on. Oh wow. Please ignore, I'm so annoyed. Please ignore the person who's mowing the lawn. This is the reason I hate filming in summer because someone is always doing something in the garden. But we've got the brows covered. They have got the cling film on and I'm gonna set the timer for six minutes because that's what it says. It says the develop. I've got medium brows so I've got yeah, so I'd say six minutes because, yeah, so I'm going to have to sit here for six minutes with this on, which is, I mean, hi. Like, I am so freaking excited to, to do this to my brows. I've been wanting to laminate my own brows for so long, and I was even, like, thinking of doing a course just because I genuinely love doing brows. I've always had such a huge love for brows, and I was so tempted to do a course on it so I could, like, do friends and families. I've always wanted to do it, so you never know. You never know in the future. When I was doing it, though, I found it really satisfying and quite relaxing, if that sounds weird, but it's so fun to do. I really, honestly, like, if you want to, if you love fluffy brows and you want to do brow lamination, get the kit and do it at home. It's so fun and kind of, like, relaxing. It doesn't take too long as well. Like, if you think about it, it takes five minutes for this, like, five minutes per process. It's not that long. It takes, like, half an hour in total. So, honestly, I'm living the best life right now. I've actually just noticed that the brows have become more defined now and like more flicked up. I'm so excited. This is going to be so fun. It's time to take it off. So, 
So it says to remove the cling film and remove all products using a cotton pad. We brush the brows in the final position, then apply step two, which is this one. Like I said to mum, as soon as I've done mine, I'm actually going to do my mum's because she honestly loves brow lamination. It's wicked. It just is everything people want. Okay. All right, so I thought I would... I thought I would give you a close-up. Now, this is my brows straight after the perm lotion has been on and also the, I've just taken off the cling film. So, I'm just taking off the lotion. Oh, yeah, it's worked. So, like, if you... They're literally brushing... Oh, yep, that's worked. Okay, so, they are literally brushing any way, any direction and putting them in. So... I left him on. I left it on for about ten minutes. I think it on. Ew! I look awful. Then I brush them up. <gasps> it works when I brush them down. They all go down. So that's how you know that you've permed them for the right amount of time. Um. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. So I've just wiped them and I'm just brushing them. Oh my god. I did do them for five. Oh no, no! At first, I did perm them for six minutes, and when I take the clink, when I took the cling film off, it didn't work. Like the brows weren't moving like they were. It hasn't really done much, and I don't know if there is directions. It says six minutes for thick for thick brows, but I will admit six minutes isn't enough. So if you are gonna do this, I really do recommend maybe like doing it for 10 minutes. You can always add more and take more off. So I've done it in total probably for about 16 minutes, but obviously this has worked way better. I just think my brows just didn't really take to it the first time. And you definitely can tell it's worked because my brows are literally going in any direction, which I just think is amazing, so. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the step two, which is the Brow Neutralize. This is the Neutralize, which I don't necessarily know what it does, but it says, re brush their brows into the final position, which I've already done. I've just brushed them up. Oh my god, this smells amazing. So I'm just going to apply this. I'm going to be going to the spa with the most flaky brows. They won't know what's coming. The neighbours have used the most loudest noises today. Like, I swear they've used about three machines in the garden. I'm like, really? So I've put my cling film on and I've set the timer for another six minutes. That's what it says on the bottle. So this is the second step and it's it. It's literally three steps. Basically, the last step is really simple. It's just applying this and then that is it. So as you can see, it's quite easy and simple. The timer has just gone off. just gonna bend the brush a bit oh my god so I'm just using the Miley brow and lash activator I'm just gonna pop a bit of coconut oil just around my brows and then I'm gonna apply the lash tint leave it on for a few minutes and then take it off all right so I've put the tint on my brows I'm gonna set another timer for I think 15 I think I'm gonna do 15 minutes and while I'm setting the time for 15 minutes, I'm actually going to rinse this, clean up, and I'll be coming back once my brows are tinted for the final step. I've completely taken the tint off. Hopefully you can tell the difference, but I've only left the tint on for 20 minutes, and this is the colour of my brows. So the tint really does help with the colour and the way it looks. The step three, hydrate serum. So I've actually not brushed the brows since, ooh, the tint, but... <gasps> Oh my god, they look amazing! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Obviously, before, they looked good, but now they look even better. They look like how they looked when I had them done at Model Brows. Like, oh. So just all I do is just brush them up, because that's how I like them. But you can brush them in any way. Like, my mum brushes hers differently to me. I brush them up. My mum likes hers to have a bit more shape. But what I do is I just brush them up like that and then it, when it gets to my tail I just brush with the sides and then at the top a bit like my soap brow tutorial I just neaten the edges with the spoolie I can't believe I did that I'm obsessed they look amazing like let me show you my brows 
like, hello, look at that, like, look at this, I'm brushing them, and then I just get my spoolie, I wasn't even filming that whole time, <laughs> what you can do as well with your brows, you can also trim them, so this is a time where, now with the in place, I do recommend, like, it's the perfect time to trim them, now I have... <laughs> Excuse the eyelash, but I have already trimmed my brows like the other day, so there was no point me doing it. So I just trimmed across the edge, and I will admit, like, if you do laminate your brows, trim them after. The last step is literally just to apply the hydrate serum. Apply the hydrate serum to the brows using our handy styling wand. The serum leaves your brows feeling full, hydrated, and lifted. So, oh my god, I'm so made up. They literally look like I've had them done. Like, that is how good this kit is. I'm so made up. Definitely worth getting it because I'm definitely going to be getting, like, more uses out of it as well. Okay, this is where it goes everywhere. Oh, oh, it's a very nice serum. Nice. So I'm just going to pop this on. And it's going to make my brows look shiny, which is what I love. I love the way, like, when you have your brows laminated, I love the sheen you can get. Like, that is my favourite. Oh, wow. All right, so I have completely done my brows. This is the result. I've applied the serum. It's a really, like, just like a normal serum formula, and this just keeps your brows hydrated. Yeah, so I'm sure I've read on the website that you actually use this for the next three days, but I'm going to be applying this, and then at night, I, they also sent me this, which is so cool. And you know when I used to carry around my big bar of soap? I don't have to do that anymore because they brought out this. This is the Brow Bay Kit. Now, it actually comes with the Brow Balm. Now, this is an actual, like, balm for your brows that also, like, styles them, but you can use it as a nourishing balm at night. It's got um, mango oil in. It's got all the best, like, oils and butters in. Make sure they're hydrated and stuff, not feeling crispy. But, yeah, that's kind of, like, the aftercare. Obviously, don't be getting them wet for the next 24 hours, but, obviously, I won't be going and drenching my face. Don't worry about that. So that is the end of today's video. I'm so shook at the results. I genuinely didn't think I could do this, but it just proves that anyone can do brow lamination using this kit. If you want fluffy brows every day, I definitely recommend picking up the kit. I, the guys at Bear didn't tell me to do a video. It was just my own like little thing that I wanted to do. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. I'm so happy and made up with the results. I'm going to have brows like this every day, which is insane to me. I've not put any brow gel in it. It's just my brows how they are. So yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. But I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Oh,